Greg Bryan is a 5'11", 200-pound running back from Delray Beach, Florida. Bryan is a second-team USA Today high school All-American, and his 2,180 rushing yards helped American Heritage High School win the state title in 2011. Bryan is rated the 15th best player in the country on the Max Preps Tom Lemming Top 100 list and is ranked 22nd on the ESPN 300 list. Greg is a uh, extremely talented, obviously, very talented football player, but he's hungry, and, and he loves to play the game. And I was able to spend time talking to him, an inordinate amount of time talking to him as we do with all our guys, but, but he really likes to play. He's very competitive. He's got a, got a um, high level of competitive nature in him. And uh, so that's going to be fun to, fun to be around. And as you can see here, he's got the ability to, to, to make people miss. He can do some things in, in between the tackles. Again, he doesn't have the greatest speed. When I say the greatest, he's not an elite, elite speed guy. But he's fast enough to, you know, to get the job done. Here's another run, obviously, where he's running between the tackles. When you first see him on tape, you're thinking, gosh, he might be 210, 215 pounds. He's not. He's 198 pounds, give or take. Um, but he's very powerful. He's got good legs on him. He's, he's got a great build. Um, but he is. He's a powerful guy. He has the ability. He has the ability to really accelerate into contact. He also has the ability to make some guys miss. But he can make his own space. When I say make his own space, he's going to finish runs. And, and, and he runs behind his pads well. But the other thing that he does, he gives you a building a lot in the same vein of theoretic, where we can put him outside because he's got excellent hands and, and, and ball skills. So um, he's pretty adept in running routes. And obviously we'll continue to teach him, but, but he, he's, he's, got, uh, he's, he's got a pretty good package as far as his ability to do many multiple things. He's going to finish runs. He's he, very similar to Theo in a lot of ways. Yeah. You know, I think at the end of the day, he'll be a bigger back when this is all said and done. He'll be bigger than Theo, but um, but very similar in a lot of a lot of the things that he does and in his ball skills. I think um, he probably possesses more ball skills as far as receiving things that Theo did coming out of high school. But that is something that obviously uh, Theo got better at from playing it, playing the Z right. and playing right. the slot receiver for us. But Greg's bringing to the table. But um, you can, like, like here, you can see him finishing runs. He doesn't go down easily. And again, he's going to be able to do a lot of things. A lot of things he does in his offense are very similar to, to many of the things that we do. Yeah. Power, you know, inside, outside zone from the shotgun. Also, we can put him at seven and a half yards deep because he's got really good vision. Has excellent balance, and, and you know, they're playing against some pretty good competition down yeah. the state of Florida, and he's competed at a very high level. So, you know, this, he's not going to run around awestruck by, by other talented guys. Right. He's been there, seen that, done that through his high school career. Again, as I said, he is competitive. He's, in his mind, he's not coming in here to try to sit and watch other guys. Right. He wants to compete. You know, throughout the recruiting process, he's always asking, hey, tell me more about the offense. Can I learn the formations now? Yeah. Can I learn some plays now? Can yeah. I watch film? So the guy, he likes, to, again, he likes to play the game.